New Mavic Mini. We're now approaching the T-minus one minute mark. Past the T-minus 50 second mark, the power transfer takes place. First stage, second stage, third stage, and the instrument unit going to internal power. T-minus 37 seconds, and our count continues to go well. So this is the new Mavic Mini. It's a replacement for my Spark, which I had for a, well, a number of years. It was a great, great drone. It did, well, a lot of my filming back in the day, but it was limited on its flight time, its gimbal, its camera, and I'm hoping that this will be the replacement. So we've still got our restrictions in the UK of a 400 foot plateau on height and a 50 meter distance from people, but it's still such a great value, bit of copterage, copterage. <laughs> but at this price, 450 for the fly more, 350 for the, just the copter and the handset, you really can't go wrong. And it's one of those things that you don't have to register it yet, yet. I think come July, I think it's July 2020, they're changing the, the, uh, the laws, but until then, let's fly more. <laughs> so this is the hard case you get, protective, little handle on the top there, seems to be well put together. So if we look inside, we've got the drone, we've got the hand controller, and we've got the battery charger, the three batteries. In. So look at that, that is a perfect little size. It's the same size as my iPhone. 249 grams, 250, it sits under that magical 250 gram restriction weight. And yeah, look at it. I'll just open it up for you. And wow, the form, it's such a cool little thing. Look at it. Kind of like it's uh, Big Brothers a little bit, but it's a beautiful, beautiful little thing. And it's super, super light. It's unbelievable. But yes, everything you can see here, uh, it's all made of sort of a soft plastic, uh, very lightweight. They've obviously stripped everything down for this model. And yeah, it's as basic as you, as you like. So I'll take the cap off the front here, that's protection, that protects the camera. The camera is a half 4K camera, so 2.7. That records in 24, 25 and 30 frames per second. Or you can do full HD at 60 frames per second. You can also do stills at 12 megapixels, which is fantastic for this little thing. So the gimbal here is a three axis gimbal. So it's nice and steady when you're flying. Flight time, 25 to 30 minutes per battery. 30 minutes, up to 30 minutes for this. And I've got three batteries, so I'm gonna get more than enough time to shoot, well, everything really. Ah, oh, it's incredible. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I've got a micro SD slot here and a charging port here as well, so you can charge the battery direct straight from the drone. And if you open this little flap here, this is where you put the battery. So there's only one sensor on this. There's these, this isn't, this, no, no sensor. <laughs> so these parts are not sensors. A lot of people think these are, but they're not. There's only one sensor and that's on the base. That's only for like, to, you know, so it knows where it is when it's landing. There's no avoidance around the sides at all, unlike the Spark and the Mavic the Pros. But, you know, if you've flown drones before, you should be okay. But yeah, that's a shame. So this little thing comes with its own dedicated app as well. So it's a much more stripped down version of the original app. And it's, well, it's just a lot easier to use. If you're looking for more information on the app, there's plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube. And obviously it's got that lovely hard case to protect it as well. Now what I've done is I've purchased myself some prop guards and some extra long feet just to lift it up above the ground so I don't get any dust and specks into the uh, gimbal. So I bought the Flymore combo, which basically cost me 450 quid. And in that packet came the drone, the charging set, which had two extra batteries on top of the other one. So you got three batteries in total, the handset, the data cables, the USB chargers, the propellers, little screwdrivers, extra screws, 
you get the whole caboodle. You know, you even get a cage that protects it if you want to fly it indoors. Um, and it's, you know, such a great value bit of kit. If you don't buy the Fly More, you buy the drone, the handset, and one battery and a few cables. Uh, I think for the extra 100 quid, you can't go wrong. 20 seconds, T minus 20 seconds and counting. 17, guidance release. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, zero. We have commit and we have lift off at 2.13. So as you can see, it's up and running. It's actually pretty quiet, you know, in comparison with the other drones. It's really quiet, in fact. It's very steady, it's a little bit of wind, but actually it's holding its, you know, holding its own. It's very, very good. So my first thoughts on the Mavic Mini, it's a great little drone, uh, perfect little size, that's for sure, especially if I'm traveling about, you know, pat down size, it's just perfect really. Um, it's lightweight, I mean that has pros and cons, the lightweight side of it, well, people are saying that actually they're worried about the plastic breaking when it falls or, but actually I think it might actually give a little, you know, it's a bit softer when it lands. Um, it's definitely not a toy though, that's for sure. So I would definitely buy these prop guards just, just for it's a peace of mind really. But having seen the footage and you know had a good fly with it now, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. It's perfect, perfect for traveling. It's perfect for, well for me, I'm gonna get those overhead shots, those sweeping front facing and everything that I need to. Obviously one major downside about it is there's, uh, there's no sort of guarding. Um, so you've got a sensor on the bottom here. That's for when you're landing, which is fine, but there's no sensors around the, the, the sort of sides, which is okay. If you're a, an amateur flyer, then you might get yourself into trouble. But I think for, the, for the, those of us who've actually had these before and you're used to flying, it's really not an issue. I think the range in this thing, it, it can fly for a couple of miles, not that I would, um, I think the laws say that you've got to have it in line of sight. But uh, you know, to have a 30 minute battery or a single battery, I've got three of them obviously, wow, it's just incredible. You get so much time to, well, compose your shot. And you know, I could leave it hovering in front of me for, you know, 20 minutes whilst I, you know, 
do something else, my camera or my fishing gear or whatever it's gonna be. As a single drone, as your one travel drone, this is the one. Can say again, please. Uh -huh. Oh, you problem. So yeah, new new drone. Yeah, it's a new drone. Hey, uh, for probably a good half a mile everywhere. So in every distance, in every direction. Um, a 50 meter bubble around you, and well, today I've uh, space all around us. Got 360. Look at that, awesome. So this is the new Mac MIP. So this is a... What's that? Oh. So this has got its own dedicated app. It's a Fly More or a Fly More The or what is it? Thing to take, you know, worry out of you. Yep. Zibik up in this car. Ah, Zibinye! Zibinye! How? This is a great little piece of toolage. Toolage? <laughs>